The phrase classic PC platformer isn't one you hear very often because, well, there's just not that many. You talk about Prince of Persia, Commander Keen, and then it starts to tail off into ports and multi-platform games. But there are some glimmers of goodness like Jazz Jackrabbit. Jazz was a PC gamer's animal with attitude, traveling from planet to planet, making reptiles extinct to save Princess Earlong from an evil shelled creature. He ran fast, had power-up shields, speed boost, could hoverboard, and occasionally got help from one badass bird. Get this, the game actually had a slow mode for people who couldn't handle all that jazz. Now somebody who's played a few platformers in his time, it's hard not to notice things that weren't lifted from other games. Kinda like the enemies that creep towards you when your back is turned, but aren't ghosts. But you combine all that stuff with tons of guns and tons of bad guys begging to be killed by one badass bunny, and you got yourself one badass game. It's badass enough that you get bonus levels that feel familiar, but I can't exactly put my finger on why. Other than all the guns and death and such, one thing to take notice of is the soundtrack. It's actually pretty good. Now we're not talking about anything classic here, but when music is really all you hear, it's not that bad. So yeah, Jazz Jackrabbit's actually pretty cool. So who's one of the men responsible for this? In a time of epic mega games, who crafted this PC platformer? Grandpa once told me that I could do anything if I set my mind to it. I made a video game where you can blow out a man's asshole. Here's to you, Pop Pop. Oh yeah, before he was making games about space marines, Cliff the master ass blaster Blazinski was making games about space bunnies. They could shoot people in the butt. It's nice to know that some things never change. Oh.